Okay, so we've got a question here. What's the integral of x times natural log of x with respect to x? Now, as there's two terms here, this is looking very much like an integration by parts question. So let's get straight in there and just see what we can do. So integral of u dv equals uv minus the integral of b du. So we need to assign the u and a dv. And then what we do is we find the u, the v, the v there, and the du there. And then we've got another integral to find the solution to. So x and natural log of x. So to integrate this natural log of x, again, that's integration by parts again. So that's going to be our, we'd say our u is the best way forward for that. So we'll let u equal natural log of x, because then we can take the derivative of that quite easily and say that du is 1 over x. And then that leaves our dv to be x. So dv equals x. And then if we take the integral of x, we get x squared over 2. OK, so that's our four components to log into this formula. So let's write it out, see what we got. U dv, so ln x x, x natural log of x dx equals u times v. That's natural log of x, x squared over two. So let's pull out the half and write x squared natural log of x. And then subtract the next integral, which would be the v which is x squared over 2, and the du, which is 1 over x. And we take this integral with respect to x. OK, so this is part of the answer, so that can stay. So that's half x squared natural log of x. So x squared over 2, we can bring the half out which will take that out to here, then the x squared times 1 over x will just leave us with one of the x's, and then with respect to x. OK, again, let's put in our values, x squared natural log of x minus 1 half, and then the integral of x, which you already wrote out here, is x squared over 2. Okay, got nothing else to do now except simplify this up. So half x squared natural log of x minus one half and the two gives us a quarter. So one quarter x squared plus c. And just to be correct, the natural log of x here, because we don't know the value of x, we should make that as the absolute value. Okay, that's our answer.